Okay, these are now, we're going to be starting optimization problems, and they can be a little bit tricky, but hang in there with me. A graphic designer is asked to create a movie poster. Inside the movie poster is a 72 square inch photo surrounded by a two inch border at the top and a one inch border on each side. What overall dimensions for the poster should the designer choose to use the least amount of paper? So we know inside here is 72 square inches, but we don't know what the the width or the height is here. So that's one of the things that we're that we need to be finding, and we need to find it so that the least amount of paper is used. All right, is it going to be 72 uh, inches by one inches? Probably not. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can multiply the width times the height to get 72 square inches, but we need to figure out how that's going to be done. So here is the process. We still need to draw a diagram. In this case, the diagram is shown. Here's the overall movie poster, this outer piece, and this inside piece is the photo, the 72 inch squared area photo. Okay, um, so this is, well, one of the things that you need to do is identify and name variables. So the width is right here. I'm going to call that X. And the reason I named it X is because it is going horizontally like the X axis. The height, the tallness, of the photo, I'm going to call Y because it follows the Y axis. So you could name this length and L and W if you want. That part doesn't matter too much. But you have to name those, you have to identify it. All right, so let width equal X, let height equal Y. But this is what we know we know that the area of the photo is 72 inches squared, and we also know that the area is equal to the width times the height. Okay, so that part we know. We have to find the poster dimensions. What is this dimension and this dimension right there? All right, so we can use an area formula to, to set this up. So what do we know about this width and this height? Well, this width right here is X plus this one inch plus this one inch. So this width is X plus two. And this height is, that would be y plus 4. But we can't multiply x times y. We can't have two different variables. So let's figure out first, what does y equal? Well, x is attached by multiplication, so let's divide both sides by x. Whoops, not 7, by x. Well, y is equal to, uh, the height is equal to 72 divided by x. So notice, if this height right here is 72 divided by x, but you also have to add this 2 inches and this 2 inches. So it's 72 divided by x, that's the height of the photo, but then for the poster you have to add those additional 4 inches. Okay, so then to find the area you're going to go ahead and multiply. Well x times 72 over x, so x times 72 over x, the x is cancel. x times 4 is 4x. 2 times 72 over x is 144 over x. 2 times 4 is 8. And let's see what we can condense. Uh, 72 plus 8 is 80. So I'm going to put the plus 80 down here. We have 4x plus 144 over x. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and go to this new page right here. So this is what we have, but let's go ahead and rewrite this so we don't have an X in the, new, in the denominator. So remember, laws of exponent, if you have X to the negative first, that means the same as 1 over X. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite that. Now, this is an optimization problem. In an optimization problem comes, remember when we were all doing the curve sketching and we were finding minimas and maximas? That's optimization. So we need to find the derivative of this and set it equal to zero. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take dA dx, since it's the area, except for not dt, sorry, that was on the related rates, dA dx, and the derivative of this right here, uh, derivative of 4x is 4, the derivative of 144x to the negative first would be, you'd bring that negative 1 down in front, so it would be negative 144 times x to the negative second, which then you bring the, that down to the denominator, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay, so, well, we don't really want to deal with, uh, and then we need to set the derivative equal to 0. We did, and we don't want an x squared in the denominator. So we're going to multiply, and this is now equal to 0. We're going to multiply all sides by x squared. Notice here, that's going to cancel. 4 times x squared is going to be, 4x squared and x squared times 0 is still going to be 0. So that's what we're left with here. And all we did was multiply everything by x squared so we could get rid of the x squared in the denominator. Well, 4 and 144 have a 4 in common, so divide everything by 4. four div 0 divided by 4 is still 0. That's going to cancel. And 144 divided by 4 is 36. So now you have x squared minus 36, and what you end up with, you know, remember the difference of squares? x is going to, remember this factors to x plus 6, x minus 6, and if you didn't remember that, just add 36 to both sides, so x squared is equal to 36. Take the square root of both sides, Remember, roots have both a positive and negative. But because we're talking about a distance, this width right here will be 6 inches. So if this width is 6 inches, when you add 6 inches, when you add an inch to both sides, the poster width will be 8 inches. Well, then what's the height? Well, remember over here, we found what y is equal to. y is equal to 72 divided by x. Well, x is equal to 6. So if we do 72 divided by 6, we get 12. So this height is 12 inches. And if we add 2 inches to both sides of that 12 inches, this overall height is going to be 16 inches. And that's what we end up with. The poster dimensions is what you're trying to find, 8 inches by 16 inches. That's it. There's a lot to keep track of, a lot to do, but uh, it's Algebra 1 and it's derivatives. And setting derivatives equal to 0, all skills that, that you have. All right, that's it.